Welcome to the G Intelligent Platforms Maintenance Minute Solution video series. In this Maintenance Minute episode, we'll answer the question, what do you do when you can't connect to the controller? Connecting to the controller is vital for maintenance in order to diagnose control systems issues and failures, tune control system parameters for optimal operation, and to upload and download applications. Sometimes, there's difficulty in making the connection between the programming software and the controller. In this scenario, maintenance engineer Jill needs to diagnose a system failure. Her attempt to connect to the controller with the programming software results in an error. What would you do if you can't connect to the controller? The objective of this maintenance minute is to connect the programming software to the controller for troubleshooting. The obstacle is that the connection between the programming software and the controller cannot be made, for a reason that is unknown. The strategy to solve this issue is to first check the cable and communication module LEDs to see if communications is being attempted. Second, check the project target settings, such as the communications mode being Ethernet or serial, the IP address used by the controller, or the serial COM port being used to connect to the controller. Third, check the PC settings, such as the COM port, communications driver, or the PC's network segment. For step one, check the communications cable and communication module LEDs. Make sure each end of the cable is secure in the connector. Check the communication module LEDs. Are they on or off? Are they blinking? These all provide clues as to why communications is not working. For step two, Check the project target settings to answer the question, how are you connecting to the controller? Check the target physical port setting to verify that it is set to serial or ethernet to match your setup. If ethernet, make sure the IP address matches the IP address of the controller. If serial, make sure the correct COM port is selected. Let's take a look at how to perform these operations. For the machine addition project that you want to use with the controller, examine the controller target property's physical port parameter. This parameter determines how the programming software attempts to connect to the controller. As you can see, the physical port parameter has Ethernet and serial COM ports as options. If Ethernet is selected, an IP address is shown. It must match the IP address currently configured in the controller. If a COM port is selected, the software will use this port to attempt communications with the controller. If you want to learn more, check the video description to understand how to get the latest version of Proxy Machine Edition, how to enroll in a controller maintenance or controller programming course, how to log a case with support, or how to get help with your GE solution. For more information, visit our public website at www.geautomation.com. Stay tuned for additional episodes in the Maintenance Minute video series.